Eliminates him there. Watch this dash. Gets about 20% of alt charge there with the halt into the dash combo. Hey, this is Hex from the Overwatch League. This is In My Sights. Today, well, it's been a Genji kind of weekend, so we're going to take a look at a Genji. A lot of great Genji performances this weekend. Sparkle, Tuba. But I want to take a look at Doha from the Dallas Fuel here. And he comes up big in a big game with Decay on the bench for reasons. And a game that Dallas must win, Doha steps up big on his Genji. There's several things you want to be paying attention to on the Genji. When to use your primary versus your secondary fire. You want to finish low health targets for resets. And make sure that you're always knowing the floor is lava. One of the best heroes in the game as far as mobility is concerned with wall climb, double jump. Never really want to be on the ground. Use those mobility advantages. So early on here, Doha on Hanamura. You want to check this window. You know the other team's going to be setting up there. And eventually he'll move through that because he's got that mobility. And take a quick peek up here. Oh, that's not great. I'm on the wrong side and I'm out. It's totally fine to use the dash to get yourself in a more safe position. It'll reset here. Back over the wall. Finds a solo target, and here come the right clicks. Three, four. Eliminates him there. Watch this dash. Gets about 20% of alt charge there with the halt into the dash combo. Now everyone's really low. Spamming in these right clicks gets a lot of damage done. And when you're a frontline Genji, getting that deflect up front gets so much damage in. Reset, reset, turn. Just beautiful play. Beautiful play from Doha. This late kill on the Oni God actually kind of sucks for Oni God because he's going to get bad spawns here. They're trying to cap it. They have all five up there capping it so that maybe Oni God gets better spawns. Doha looks back and sees that his, uh, his widow is very far away. Blade up now. Just always looking for a place to be able to get this blade in, get some value in on the blade. If you only get one on blade, you've probably not done your job right. So everyone pushes in top right on Hanamura, it's the best place to push. I use the mobility and jump up a little bit, a little bit of better angle. Window goes through, a lot of chaos here, the deflect comes in to prevent a ton of damage coming to his team, and now he sees he's got the Brigida at half health. And this Orisa, uh, just biding your time, sorry Numlocked. Doha goes down to 27, gets that final kill. Sees that his Sigma has the other Sigma isolated. Why not turn a 1v1 into a 2 on 1? Make sure you can win. They get him. And it's been kind of a slow second push here. And the Divine actually has a chance to come back into this. They've got a lot of people up. They've gotten a couple kills. But a nice deflect and the dash there is going to get the Widow. Now he's got people locked out in this corner. Interesting though, a little left click there. Left click is usually used for those stationary targets and at a longer range. Right clicks onto the Tracer. He's got her isolated. Target acquisition goes to the Brigida. Tracer's low, gets the reset. Now she's finding these individual targets. And, yep, raise your hand if that's ever happened to you. And it is in my site's tradition that we will end a half or a map on our POV being dead. I swear, I don't look for plays where that happens. It just is one of those grand coincidences. But Doha did his job there very easily. The first attack alone was one of the reasons I wanted to do Doha. Great first push on the first point. Patient push on the second point. Isolates targets, takes them out, gets blade value. Everything you want from a Genji. Well, we had our fun on Genji, but it is Hanamura defense. Not easiest to play Genji on first point here. It's kind of the tracer conundrum when you have flank heroes on defense. You would have to let them in a little bit on offense, let them through the door. And on maps like this, where the door is such a great advantage, you don't really want to let them in just so that your tracer or Genji can get work done. So he's going to go to the Mei. Mei has always been a good hero on this map because the wall fits the entrance very easily. So, get up here with the wall. Sometimes this jump just doesn't work. Just try and just, just uh, no, yeah, well, over here, no, oh, uh, 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 
you know what? I don't I don't want to be there anyway. I oh, don't know. It is better to be here. All right. Well, maybe we'll get up there someday. On May, you want to use the wall to cut off the door right here. You see it. Isolate members of the team as they try to push forward. Spam your icicles and get value out of the blizzard. Blizzard as a company made the game. There's no way they're going to make an ability in the game named Blizzard that's not really, really good. And it is. Eventually uses the second wall to get up top, but hey, he's where he needs to be. So controlling high ground, watching the door. If two or more people step in, he's going to try to wall off and make sure that they get isolated from the rest of their team. Now it's just spamming down shields. Tries to deal with this Genji who just got in on his Sigma. It's exactly what Doha did on the offense. A decent wall there, but the shield is still up on the Orisa. And now you see that the Defiant make the call of like, hey, let's not chase the four people going up top. We've got a May isolated. Nothing you can do here. Completely dead. The rest of his team was rotating around. He got caught out in no man's land. And his team is just going to reset. Genji's very good on offense on first point. You saw Agilities get the opening pick. You saw what Doha did. But you can stay on the May here because Hanamura, everybody wants to attack at this top point. And the wall can be very good at splitting them off. It's really your only goal here. Split off part of the team and win a fight just with a single ability. Gets halted and yoinked. Luckily, he can edit the map and build himself a set of stairs. Just fire and right clicks, trying to get to Blizzard. One more icicle or so should do it. Agilities gets a couple with the blade, but then gets domed with the icicle. The Blizzard's going to come out to slow these tanks down. And it's not clean, and a lot of people are going to die, but they got enough, and there was enough stall to slow it down so that the Dallas defense can recontest here. And they splayed out on the table below. Thinking to the Doomfist, at least get some closer to the spawn doors. Back to the Genji. And that's enough. Note had come alive here on the Sigma. He's been playing a very good Sigma as of late. Now with a stable defense, you're just going to watch Windows, try to get this long-range spam in. That's why you're seeing left clicks. Left clicks are the range, the spam, the stationary target fire. Right clicks when you're in close, trying to finish people. So, just waiting. Again, floor is lava. Always double jumping. Not ideal. Not ideal. Pretty sure that was a Zen Volley. Just caught it. All of the Define are up top here. He's waiting for a good dash angle. Maybe they all come through and line up for him. And he just finds a low health Zen. Gets his revenge. Halted and hit. Most of the times Doha dies, it's going to be the cause of accretions halts from the Orisa. Anything that shuts down Genji's mobility is a death sentence. A little long range there to start it off. Gets it. Defense is stabilized. Three minutes remain on this defense. That's about three more fights. So you want to start thinking about which ults do we want to use to win which fights. Dallas with nothing right now, and they're going to have to defend against Blade. But with the long-range spam, it's very possible that Doha can get to his own Blade here. Good angle. Not catching Zen Volleys this time. Double jump. Floor is lava. Blade up. Yeah, gets halted in. Knows the accretion's going to come. Tries to put the deflect up. Gets behind the shield. So might be thinking about going in this back way. It's completely safe there. He's always got dash and deflect up. It's a lot of little angles you can poke from because you're Genji and you're always safe and you have escape. Off the edge, just living in the air. Counterblade. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, that's a cute little blade agilities. Doha had a better one. 
one of the most satisfying sounds in the entire game. Team kill horn. Although I wish it was more esportsy. The triple air horn. That takes a shot there. Says the line that he needs healing. Everyone is uh, familiar with that, I'm sure. We're just getting the spam over there. And now he knows they're all lined up. Beautiful dash target. Dash in, dash out. Everyone's low. Keep getting those resets. Oh, dash resets are a pretty good ability. Up there cleaning up. They get absolutely nothing out of it. Does the Defiant. And they rallied in with that too. That's brutal. One minute remains. Very likely going to be one of the final fights here. This is what I like from Doha too. It's a small thing. But I wish I see it more. He's got ult. He doesn't need to be spamming down the alley anymore to try to get his ultimate ability. In fact, the last thing he wants to do is chip damage. He doesn't want to do chip damage so the other team gets support ultimates up faster. So he's literally not trying to shoot them right now because he has his ult. What's the point? He's been eyeing this edge all game. Wants to go up behind him. And this is beautiful. Up behind. He's going to go for the deflect early to make sure he doesn't get slept. Even steals the pack. Also, his team had come in through the front with the rally. Hammer, Anvil, Dallas wins the fight. 30 seconds remains. He's going to try to get any stragglers he can here to make sure that they can't get back in time. Unable to finish that one. Now you're going to see some parts of Hanamura that rarely are used. Completely safe right here. He could always dash across the chasm back to his team. And they don't see him. He's just chilling. They don't see him. Floor is lava. You would think he wants the Yana there, and he does. But as Genji, you really want to fight 1v1s. You don't want to fight against someone who's got teammate pressure. And, uh, oh yeah, there was that Ana I was thinking about killing. I'll just do that now. No problem, no issues. Agility gets in, gets two, but it's not enough. Not when you lose healers in damage like that. The Dallas Fuel in a match they had to have, otherwise risking getting down to the play-in match for the Summer Showdown. They get it. Doha steps up in the absence of his DPS duo Decay, has a great Genji, uses the blade with great ability, plays like the floor is lava, gets a lot done isolating targets. It was a great weekend for Genji, Doha amongst the many.